Hey, you there, right? Come downstairs. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it. Okay, I'll be right over. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. Lock up for me if I don't come back. Got it. I owe you one. <laughs> what a handful. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, uh, Madarame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so, too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? I don't know. I'm trying to go for the most Sojiro answer, but I don't have a crossword to pretend to be doing. Well, I think they're doing good. Oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. Yes, I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. To think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public support of them either. There's also the danger of the Metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, to think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, we'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a few people are entitled to change the world, like you, future Prime Minister. Okay, so he's talking to a politician of some dis of some description. <laughs> it's Ryuji. Hey, it's me. Where you at? What you doing? Watching the store. Gotcha. We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, you-know-what. See ya! What's up? We're here to hang out. That's not why we're here! We need to study for finals! Or... We can hang out! Why am I here, too? To get us to study for finals, probably. You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know? I don't wanna. I wonder if we get points for them, depending on what answer we get. Whatever. I understand, man. Let's leave those guys be. 
<sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here, but what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. Oh, it's a uh, front for a drug for a drug ring. What? How do you think I live here? It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. Fade to black. Yup. That's... that's terrible. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same, too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's, though. Uh... Depends on your perspective, I'd say. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me. I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? That's the secret. Ah, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exam? Singular exam. Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I'm just joking. P please teach us. Hmm. What was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. Group study session. This is really fun. I like that. Well, not exactly fun because it's, oh god, a final exam season. But... I really like a group of friends coming together to actually study for a common cause. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Ugh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Ah, uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? And how can you assume the writer's feelings is my main question. Like, they can choose whatever words, but that, does, but that doesn't necessarily convey what they were feeling. It conveys what they wanted the audience to feel. Just noticing Ryuji's hand there, goddamn man. It's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? Yes, but the but, but the student council president is across the table from you. Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? Uh, not that they fabricating the crimes so much as influencing the thoughts of the people confessing the crimes. So, like, the crimes themselves could not exist. They could be fabricated, but the victim would be the one fabricating them. We are influencing them. We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass. Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Morgana, I'd say we'd be taking down some decently big targets at this point. We just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. 
The wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me, the celebration party. Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yeah, so let's get back to studying. Then after exams, we can talk about it. Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. Damn it, that's actually a reasonable that's actually that's actually a reasonable request. The last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hey, that hot pot was nice, Morgana. Hmm? A buffet. Hmm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? I, you think so too, right? Yeah, it's a great idea, even though it is hot out. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Jesus Christ, girl, that is three monitors with some windows hiding other windows on two of them. About 50 post-it notes by the looks of it. Your chair is not breathable. Like, if you want to be able to sit in a chair for a long period of time, go for a mesh bottom so they can actually have good airflow. Otherwise, you're just going to get hot and sweaty so fast. Now, that's a lot of instant food just piled up in that filing cabinet. Could you at least get, like, a proper trash can? At least you have, like, an actual fridge there, so at least your drinks are cold. That's good. The five-ish bags of trash, eh, at least they're wrapped up. They're not just, like, open to the air. Got some Super Sentai over on the left. Yeah, her room is a goddamn mess, but it's very clear what kind of character she is. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much stuff on your floor. Do you just not roll the chair back ever? Mm. Oh, wait. Do we actually have do we actually have the evening? Please let me go to uh, uh, uh Sun Confidant to Toshinori. No, that's All Might. Yoshida. <laughs> Fireworks and Yukatas? Guess it's that time of year. Hey, so there's this dangerous, almost psychotic blog I found that hasn't ended up on the forum yet. I'll kill him, I'll kill him, I'll kill him. That's all it says. Rumor has it she's talking about her boyfriend. I didn't know to her what rumor if it hasn't ended up on the forum yet. And that gives us no information about what to actually do in Mementos. Sounds dangerous. Yeah, seems like she'll do something real bad someday, right? And it gets even worse. As it turns out, she's a Shujin student. You know a girl named Yumeko Mogami? No, I don't. She's always up near the classrooms on the second floor. Please, you have to do something before things get worse. Oh! <laughs> this is a good opportunity for us. Kind of Shio's change of heart has probably opened up some deeper parts of mementos. Let's make some time and talk about it at the hideout. Nope. Not doing that for a while. Nice. Damn. Ooh, I'm locked to Young and Jaya. I'll just add this. Just in case I'm gonna go to the next slot because I haven't tested this recording session to know if the audio is good or not. So I want to be able to back up just in case. 
check the couch first. Hey! Can't wait to go see the fireworks. Okay. Hey! Damn it! Okay, did they leave this in? No. I guess this is just to let you save that. Huh. Where'd all the books go? I just realized that. Do we put them, like, back here or something? Like, fill the box with them? Eh, whatever. Sleep. Well, then. Ah, sorry, Yoshino. 